Carrie Roberts here and today I'm going to spotlight or highlight one of the Atomic Red Team tests. Here we're looking at the Atomic Red Team project but before we jump into this library of scripted cyber attacks which is Atomic Red Team, let's take a quick look at MITRE ATT&CK just to get ourselves oriented. So MITRE ATT&CK is a framework of tactics and techniques used by cyber attackers. So here we have across the top different tactics they use and under each tactic we have different techniques. Today we're going to look under the tactic of credential access and of all these techniques we see here today we're looking at the OS credential dumping technique. So we click on that and we can read a little bit about credential dumping. One of the sub techniques of credential dumping or a smaller category of how attackers do this specifically on Windows is involving LSAS memory. So LSAS is the local security authority subsystem service that runs on Windows and it handles credentials and so if an attacker can get a copy of that process running in memory they can find credential information which helps them in their attack. So now that we know that this tactic and technique has a number of T1003 sub technique number one. We can jump back to our Atomic Red Team project. We can go into the Atomics folder and look for T1003001 to find the scripted cyber attack that we're going to run today. So let's open up the markdown file here and we can read a little bit about LSAS memory dumping and how it works. And under atomic tests, we see there's currently 12 atomic tests or 12 different ways, 12 different procedures for executing this technique. And there's lots of different ways to dump LSS memory or get a copy of that process running so that you can find credential material. One tricky way to do it that we're going to highlight today in our spotlight is LSAS mem dumping LSAS memory using direct system calls and API and hooking. So we'll click on that one. So this uh, uses API unhooking to in an effort to avoid detection and it's from work done by the outflank group and ways to bypass AVEDR and this is not currently detected by many antivirus products including Windows Defender. So we're going to take a look at executing this to see what it does. So I'll minimize our web browser here and I'll start a PowerShell where I ha already have Atomic Red Team installed. So I can use a command invoke atomic test to run this atomic test. And we want to run T1003.001. We'll show the brief details from this technique just to see the names of the tests we have available. And we were interested in test number three. So let's go ahead and tell it we're interested in tests running test number three but before we run it we will check our prerequisites just see if we have everything we need to successfully run this test it gives us a red message saying elevation is required but not provided so in order to run this atomic test and dump credentials from memory we need to be in an elevated context so we need to run powershell as admin so we take note of that and also the dumper tool it's an executable that does the api and hooking needs to be found on our computer at this location and it's not we can try to get the prerequisites if we change this to get prerequisites it will download dumper for us so let's go ahead and do that we still know that we need to run powershell as admin so i'm going to come right click on powershell here and run as administrator answer yes to this prompt. So now we have an admin PowerShell prompt running. We can run this same command over there. Now that we have our prerequisites, we have dumper where we need it to be. When we run that dumper tool, we will get our copy of LSAS memory recorded. Okay, and so that was quick and easy. It said we put a copy of the LSAS memory that contains credentials in the temp directory dumper.dmp. So at this point, an attacker would typically just copy this 
dumpert.dmp file. It could be named anything with any extension. But uh, they would take this offline and they would process it on a different computer in order to pull out those credentials. And I have Windows Defender enabled on here. We see it ran without any problems. It created the dump. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and run another Atomic which will process this dumped file and show us the credential information right here on the system, even though that's atypical of what an attacker would do. In order to do this, to extract these credentials, we are going to have to disable Windows Defender, which I will do with the set MP preference command, disable real-time monitoring, and set it to true. That will disable Windows Defender. Now we can go ahead and run this next atomic test, which was actually test number six, offline credential theft with Mimi Cats. So now we just need to repeat this command. We want to say test number six. We'll get our prereq prerequisites because we need a copy of Mimi Cats. Okay, now we can run this test, but we need to give it the path of the dumper dump file that we had. So we'll say prompt for input arg so we can tell it where our file is. And that was in C Windows temp dumper.dmp. We'll accept the default for where Mimi Cats is. And we see credentials showing up here. We scroll up near the top, we can see some credentials for the art user, that's the current user I'm using, and here's the NTLM password hash. So that's the way Windows stores passwords is in a hashed format. Attackers can use this hash directly to access other systems or to log in, because in Windows uh, you just need the password hash, not necessarily the password. But attackers can also use password cracking techniques to determine what the original password is and then use that original password in the environment as well. So that sums it up for a demonstration of the dump LSS memory using direct system calls and API unhooking using the Atomic Red Team library of scripted cyber attack. I'll see you next time. Thanks.